Hi, I'm Paul. I just thought I'd share a little thing that I found out. I got the new Nikon Z9 here. Talk a little bit about the GPS logging function of it. And uh, I'm gonna do a little log here, show the settings, um, kind of go through how to process it, convert it over to a, um, a Google capable file so you can see it on Google Earth. So I'll go through the settings. Uh, we'll take a little, a little trip up in the mountains here and uh, kind of go over battery life and whatnot. So. Let's get to it. Okay, so I don't have a fancy HDMI recorder, so I gotta do it the old school way here. Um, so to create a log, we'll go into the setup menu and then location data built in. So right here you have your settings for uh, recording location data right to your picture. Um, set clock from satellite. So we wanted to go uh, create log. And then if we hit this right here, it'll start, but let's check a couple of settings. So we got Log interval every minute. So 15 seconds, 30 seconds, one minute, two minutes, five minutes. I'm gonna put this on a little bit shorter time because I'm not gonna do a real long video here, but I used it yesterday and I had it set to a minute and uh, worked for, worked awesome. So uh, let's, let's just do 30 seconds. And then you can tell how long you want it to log for, six hours, 12 hours, 24 hours. So this will just automatically stop the log. I'll just do six hours, but at the end of this video, maybe I'll drive around here for half an hour or something and then stop it anyway. So, um, so log location data. So you can see log in progress, time remaining. So we can go in here and turn it off when we're done or let it automatically shut off after our six hours. So now I'm just going to turn the camera off here, set it in my passenger seat. When we turn it off, you can see it says log on there. With a little satellite GPS icon. So I am just gonna set it here. I'm gonna set the camera up on the dash and just uh, do a little time lapse and uh, probably take a couple pictures on the way and then we'll get back to the computer later. All right, so made a round trip, uh, went up through the tunnel, and let's go back and check out the GPS data. I just left the camera sitting here, uh, right on the passenger seat the whole time, except for when I was using it. So let me show you real quick how to end the log, and then uh, we'll put it on the computer. Okay, so to end the log, you can either let the timer run up, but obviously we don't wanna do that right now because I don't want a bunch of wasted points. So under create log again, you can still see it's got another four hours and 41 minutes. Um, click create log and then just hit end or you can hit pause, obviously, but we'll just hit end, saves it to the memory card. And now we'll go back to the computer, pop out the memory card and show you how to convert it. All right, now that we're back at the computer, let me show you how to convert this file. So under your memory card, obviously you have your pictures here under the Nikon folder, 
this GNNS folder this is where your logs are stored. So here's one from yesterday, this is from today. So I'm just going to, oh, I'll just copy this to the desktop real quick. And now this is just a log file. So, um, so you open a notepad and it's just, you can see it's got GPS coordinates in there. So what we need to do is we need to convert that to a KML file. So what I found here with some research is the manual for the, the Z, Z9 manual. Um, I need to find what type of format it is. So the logs are in a NMEA format. So we need to convert that to a KML. So what I found was GPS Babel or Babel. Um, this software is free. Uh, just do a search for it, it's pretty popular. So what we need to do is select the input source, the format, I mean, so you can see all these different formats. So we just need that NMEA. We will um, find their input file here, which you could pull right from the memory card, but save to the desktop. Open that log file up. Now we just need to save it as something. Let's just Save it as uh, Z9 uh, Bronco Off-Road. Okay, so it's gonna export it as that KML. There's a bunch of options here. I haven't messed with them. Seems seems like it works fine. So translation successful. Close out that. So now here's our KML file from the log file. So. Now we can go over to Google Earth. I think it's Earth. Earth.google.com. This is just a web based one. Once this loads here. So, what you want to do is just go over here to the left under projects. Click open. Import KML. Oops. Import KML from the computer, not from Google Drive. And we just choose that KML file. And here we go. So we can see our trip. We started uh, started over here. You can see where I slowed down for the calf crossing the, the road there. You can see where I spent a little time here taking a picture. Did this loop uh, a couple times because I just tried to get a little drone footage and it kept cutting out. So you can see where the tunnel tunnel is there that I drove through. And uh, on up the path. So I think I had this set to, I think, what was it, 30 seconds? Um, Typically, I mean, you probably don't need it that often, but here's where I took some more pictures. And uh, back down to the uh, the old Sinclair. Here we got some more pictures. You can see where I actually pulled in, parked here, walked across the street to get some um, pictures of the Ronco with the mountains in the background there. So anyway, um, super simple. You can see the, over here on the side, you can see the points. Uh, let's see how many we got. Like I said, there's quite a few because I was 30 seconds. So uh, 152, so we're 75, 76 minutes. Um, yep, seemed about right. So anyway, super cool feature um, obviously it's not for everything you're not going to use it every time you go out but um, if you're out and about and uh, want to make a log not just show the um, have the data in the picture but if you want to actually log your trip um, it's pretty cool I think some of the other Nikon maybe D 5100s or something might have GPS I don't know I don't I've never played with one of those um, so I don't know if it's the same or not, but I just stumbled across this yesterday and 
had some people asking about it, so I figured I'd make a little video show on that. Anyway, let me know what you think, uh, and take care. So I totally forgot to talk about battery life. Um, obviously running GPS all day, it's going to consume some battery power. Um, it seems like today I was about an hour and a half trip and used about 5% of the battery, took uh, around 100 pictures. So, I don't know, doesn't seem too bad to me. The camera was off most of the time. And yesterday, I was probably out for, I don't know, 7-8 hours hiking through the mountains and uh, maybe use 10% of the battery. So it doesn't seem too bad, obviously. You're not gonna always wanna run it, but when you do need it, it doesn't seem like it's too horrible, but definitely will take some battery. So hope you enjoyed it. Um, let me know if you have any questions and thanks for watching.